up guys look at this chair here it's literally the comfiest thing ever we're obsessed with it so yeah <laughs> come hang out with Britt. i love her okay i told you guys it was gonna look a little crazy after which i do but like it's a sleigh okay so cut the tail off and shaped them waxed the center underneath you know all that good stuff tinted them super dark brown because i like that put like a hole in my bronzer um i like them to be super dark brown they like last longer and i just like a dramatic brow so i'm actually really into bleached brows too because it's just dramatic or like super dark i like a soft brown too i think it's pretty but i just like love a harsh brown kind of so they're bold Mm -hmm. They're like so intense right now. Tasty. Tasty? Yeah, they're fragrant. They're delicious. <laughs> they're like really intense right after you get them done, but in like one to two days, they, they're like a lot less than this even. But I honestly don't hate them. I like this. And then I also got my lashes tinted, curled. So we love that. Brit is the best. Love her so much. And now we're gonna go to the mall for a fun little adventure. And so next week is Valentine's Day and we're actually going to Cabo with Blake and John for a little getaway. Couples trip. So we'll be in Cabo for actual Valentine's Day. Yes. And that's kind of our present and our yes. celebration. And just because it's like our wedding year, we're spending a lot of money on our wedding yeah. and like that's a huge gift to ourselves and each other. We're like, we really shouldn't do gifts for Fair Valentine's enough. Day. But I'm also like, it's cute to have, like have a little sauce. Yeah, we're just not huge on the gifting right now. Even like Christmas, we didn't really do much. We didn't do gifts, no. It's, it's the year of like other things, so we haven't been focusing on gifts, but I'm like, it's just cute on Valentine's to have a little something to give each yeah. other. So I thought it would be cute to like go to the mall and just set like a, a reasonable low budget to go and find things for each other. I suggested Barnes and Noble. Yeah, and I Delaney love that idea. Loves books. I love books. So I said, oh, that's cute and like so intentional. We can just get each other like a book. So we're gonna. We're gonna go, so we're gonna go wander around separately. Yeah. And find something for each other. Yeah. Oh, babe, these cards are really cute. Get each other a cute card too. Those are cute. They're only like five hundred dollars. These are really cool. Go you find a book. You go find a book. Kid lost. Kid lost. So lady made the cover of this book. Also, I've seen this book online. Anybody read this? by Rick Rubin, the creative act, a way of being. I like the cover and everything. It can work as decor, but also it sounds like it could be a cool book. Not sure if this is the one that Delaney wrote this book. Okay, there's a few different routes cleaned. <laughs> I saw some laundry. <laughs> hey, you can't be around me. <laughs> okay, we're literally just like running into each other. I'm in the young adult section. I don't think that is quite gonna cut it. I don't know about fiction for him either. Science fiction? No. Okay, I was gonna say until I ran into my Valentine, there's a few different routes that I could go here. So I was kind of intrigued by the nutrition um, because Clayton's been having like those sleep issues and stuff. I was like, oh, maybe there's like a good book that he could read about like diet, something that could affect that. Or he likes cooking. He's getting more into cooking. Um, you know, a cookbook. I think he likes cookbooks. Like I'm not really much of a cookbook person. I like to cook more off the cuff, but he kind of likes a cookbook. So that could be good or sports could be good. I love sports. I hope you can't hear me. Um, I just stumbled upon the humor section. Who does a good laugh? I saw personal growth. 
that could be that's like good for everyone i feel like so all these categories sound good you know all right, Delaney loves reading anthropology books and like books about Native Americans and self-help. But like, I literally can't even find that section right now, so I don't know if I'm lost or something. There's social sciences like this. Do the anthropologies and social sciences? Oh, here is her favorite book. Gosh, I might be close. She loves this book. Recommends it to everybody. So maybe I need to look in here, see what I find. I actually got her this book once. I think I got it for her. I know she has it. I either got it for her for her birthday or a uh, holiday or something. So I am kind of in the right region right now. Let's see what I find. Guys, I'm definitely also overwhelmed. <laughs> Okay, I also just stumbled upon the business section. I feel like he could like something from that. He's going to like learn more businessy, like entrepreneurial things or like talk about stuff like that lately. I'm gonna check this out. Okay, the business books were really overwhelming. I don't know enough about that to pick one out, but in the sports section, I feel like this can be, we could be on something here. Okay, this seems kind of cool. Talking to goats. Okay, just found the Bears, my father. I haven't heard of this one, but we've actually read a couple books about Native American medicine men. Um, one's called Mad Bear, one's called Rolling Thunder. And I think the Rolling Thunder and Mad Bear are written by the same person, Doug Boyd. Uh, but they're about two different medicine men. But this one is about bear art from the Muscogee Creek Nation. I think Delaney would really like this. Okay, then I just stumbled on this like little table that has like investment books or like business books on like money. And I feel like this is cool. I will teach you to be rich. No guilt, no excuses, no BS. Just a six week program that works. Sorry for myself, Tanner. Sounds interesting. This also looks cool, Rich AF. But I think this is more like giving girly BFF energy, which that's why I like it. This is more mainly. I also have this book. It's such a good book. I love it. I have this book too. I never finished it, but I love this one. Okay, so our budget is fifty dollars, and right now I'm at like forty. So I feel like I'm gonna do the sports one and the money mindset one, because then it's like less pressure on just one. I feel like they both seem really inspiring and like cool. And then I need a card. Okay, I just saw this one on the shelf too, the Emrata book. I'm pretty sure I heard good things about it. It says it was an instant New York Times bestseller, a little feminist book. I know Delaney will like that. So between these two, I'm looking pretty good. I think we set a $50 limit, so I might have a little bit more room here to, oh, maybe the card. I'll keep looking around, but off to a good start. All right, sticking with those two books. And got this little card too, so cute. Give me a nice area to write a nice long note. How'd you do? I think I did good. Got our bags. I'm excited. Me too. I feel like it's cute. That's fun. Yeah, that was fun. Wait, what'd you spend? I spent forty-eight dollars. What'd you get? Two bucks in a card. Ooh. What about you? Forty-two. Two bucks in a card. I'm a cheap date. Dang. Well, this will be fun. Next order of business, this little jam sesh in Ulta. Stop and drop. Stop and shop. What was I looking for? Eye cream. Eye cream. What do you got so far? Some face tanning drops. My hand is literally orange right now because I still have tan. I need my face to match. Is this all the finger? It's like not giving me 
not looking like a lot of skincare. Okay. Oh, there's more back there. Skincare. Gotta go to the back. This is the best hack ever. I learned this from my bestie Samira. She keeps these makeup wipes in her car. So late at night when she's like coming home from an event or something, she's dreading washing her face. She gets like one step closer by doing this. So nice. It's actually the best thing ever. It's actually kind of be a vibe for me too. To yeah, you can do that too. Freshen up. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey look, the new H2O collection. There it is. No way. In store. In store and already looking sold. This collection's good, guys. So good. Way to go, Eva. Alright guys, we're just walking around and I was like, I wonder if Apple has a Vision Pro and sure enough, might as well check it out, right? Here they are. Wow. I wonder if they'll let you try it on or not. Probably not. Look at that thing. What, what is it, like VR or whatever? Yeah. Can you try it on? I'll have to ask. All right, well, they look extremely futuristic, but you can't just walk in and try them on. You have to book a demo. You gotta book a demo. It takes like 30 minutes, they said to show it, but... Ooh, I, I do not know if I'm ready I'm for, not ready the, for the world that. to enter the phase of that being like well, the, the, so normal. The crazy thing about that one, babe, uh -huh. is that that one is like, you can see out of it so easily. You can see real life? Too. Yeah, oh. but then you can like turn it off where it's like full, Blackout, yeah. basically. Yeah. Wow. And then you can like project. So like right now you can just be walking. Well, I was watching a video on it the other day. You can't be walking and using it. But if we were to just stand somewhere, you were sitting in your living yeah. room, you could put a TV like in front of you, uh -huh. but still be able to see the rest of your room. Wow. If that makes sense. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. It's basically like the Tesla of like yeah. portable technology or something. Yeah, you know, pretty like, much. Because the Tesla's like, you can play video games on it, but not when you're driving. So that's yeah, what it's like. Yeah. You can like use it, but not yeah. when you're walking. It's like the it's a lot more highest mobile. level of technology, but they're putting like some ramifications around it to like <laughs> yeah. try to keep it safe. But For sure. Tesla's like self-driving, like all that. And then I feel like that thing just sounds top-notch technology. Yeah. But I am a Luddite. Yeah. And I like Paper and pen. <laughs> Paper and pencil right here. If, any, if, pa if paper, paper and pencil and pen. needs an ambassador, you hire a lady. Everything. Paper and pen, except oh, and, for this. And I use Tesla. Closing it on. Okay, today I'm going to get another makeup trial done. If you guys saw the last vlog, when I went and got my makeup done for like a wedding trial by Devin, I loved it. I have decided to book her because I really liked the way my skin looked. I felt like I looked airbrushed and it wore like so well throughout the day. As you guys know, I was going back and forth on like if I wanted to get my makeup done, if I wanted to do my own makeup. And I feel like once I kind of like tweak makeup that someone else has done, just with like little specific things that I love doing to my makeup, I feel enough like myself. And I also think professional makeup will like photograph really well and it will just be nice mostly for me to be like pampered and relaxed more on that day is what I'm thinking. So that's where I'm at as of now. But before I had booked Devin, um, when I was just like organizing, getting hair and makeup booked and everything, I had already booked another trial with this girl, Sky, who you guys actually, you saw my brow girl, Britt, earlier in this vlog. I adore her. And Sky is her really good friend and she is incredibly talented. Like her work is beautiful. I'll put her handle or her page up here so you guys can check her out. But so I'm going to get my makeup done by her today and I'm really excited because I just want to get to know her I want to see what it's like to get my makeup done by her and just have her contact and everything um, I feel like I did put myself in sort of a weird position because I booked multiple trials and so then it was like I was gonna have to tell someone I didn't want them or something and it's not like that so I'm just gonna tell Skye that I already booked someone because I just wanted to get my date locked in but I still want to get my makeup done by her and like have her contact and all that good stuff so I don't know. I was trying to be proactive having it all scheduled and then I was like, oh, this is like, I put myself in a weird position because I don't ever want to tell someone like that I didn't like their work or something. And everyone that I've worked with so far has been amazing as well. So it's hard. There's just so much talent out there. But we're going to a little Valentine's Day dinner with our friends tonight. So with Samira and Iden. So 
it's like the perfect day to get glam anyways I want to be all cute so it's perfect um, I'll show you guys obviously what my makeup looks like once I get it done and yeah I'm excited look at my stunning she's makeup so gorgeous. this is sky you guys Hi, and she's literally the best Aww. like Britt was not kidding she's an angel soul she's yeah, so talented know. and I'll so put her fun. her handle here and everything but I love it Yay. okay as you guys saw sky was the sweetest and my makeup literally looks so good I'm obsessed like pros are seriously i don't know how they do everything that they do but it's incredible and i love it she was the best she also knows Devin, so i think maybe we're gonna all be together on the wedding day and she can do some bridesmaids for me and i just like loved her energy and obviously her skills so it would be amazing to have her there on the wedding day as well so both such great girls i love that they know each other and seriously like they're both so talented this this makeup is eating for date night tonight so i'll show you guys my outfit later i'm gonna wear something really cute tonight i'm so excited a better look at the glam so we're getting ready for the special little date night and i can't remember if i told you guys this or not already but the brand sla the label is sending us on our little date night so they sent me over this outfit and it's so good also we're going with samira and Aiden, and they sent samira and Aiden. <laughs> they sent samira an outfit too and hers is so cute so i'll try to remember to vlog and show you hers but sometimes when i like get with my friends i just forget to document anything so forgive me if that's what happens but here is my outfit i can't tell if you guys can see this well or not okay you can definitely see it like there but this is like a long sleeve top i don't know if you guys have heard of sla, SLA the label you probably have but they make the most incredible sparkly things. Literally my favorite. I wore their like sparkly blazer two-piece set for, what was that? Like my 28th birthday? 29th birthday? 29, I think. 29. So cute. Um, but I'm wearing like the long sleeve sparkle top. How freaking cute. And then the pants are matching just like the same material. And some black heels. <laughs> so dark in here. I have my, you got it. I have my Lighting assistant. Club promoter here. I'm ready to party. I'm ready to party. Like it sparkles. So good. Can I get a light? Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that does sparkle really nice. It's cool too because they're they're like black. Yeah, they're like they blend in, but I love them. They're the best. And that's about <laughs> the small Sorry, I was mesmerized by your beauty. Oh my God. <laughs> the girl that owns the brand, Sarah Ashcroft, she is a YouTuber and like on Instagram. She's so freaking cute, so sweet, stunning, so stylish, like just everything to me. So I'm just so excited. So yeah, we're gonna go pick up Samira and Aiden and go out and it's a cute like Valentine's Day dinner date they also brought or they delivered flowers to us Whoa. these like red roses those are beautiful that so, base is so stunning cool. right so sweet of them so we love them oh this is way better lighting also show you guys my my hair maybe lower over here my makeup looks so good still incredible i did a little slick bun situation with some fuzzies poking out some silver earrings I think I'm gonna wear my silver coach bag. These shoes are. What is that say? Tony B. Tony B. Tony the Tiger. My makeup looks so good. I'm obsessed with this guy. And Devin. I literally like heart them both. They did such a good job. Okay, and Clayton's fit. Zara. Zara shirt. Zara shirt. My TN shirt. He's wearing the leather pants leather tonight. Because I was like, very special. I was like going a lot with this. So okay. he pulled on the leather pants. So they very look good. Frisky. They look good on you. My butt's about to rip through him. His butt's getting bigger. He's just working on his booty. He's grown a butt. 
Did you, did you spray it yourself? I did. I'm wearing the Tom Ford. I don't know if I already put this. I like to remember anything on my vlog these days. But I got this sample of the Tom Ford Bitter Peach perfume, like the orange one. Because I smelled it at the store and I'm like, that smells really good. So I wanted to see like how it smells on me. It lasts so long. I wore it the other night and I woke up in the morning and I still smell like it for like the whole day actually you, after. You yeah. Clayton's not like sold completely yeah, yet. I love it. I'm obsessed. Which is like probably more important that you're obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to get a on me. There it is. I went on a photo shoot yesterday and one of the girls smelled so good. And I was like, what perfume are you wearing? She was wearing yeah, that's, peach. That's great. And I was like, that's okay, that's picture. like a sign. I feel like I'm supposed to get it. So. Clayton against against, against Clayton's the world. Will. Before we head out, I want to show you guys what's in the groomsman boxes. I'm gonna get Aiden right now. Show me my groomsman with this little black box. So excited! But we got them Santal. Speaking of fragrances, Le Labo. Le Labo. It's just a sleigh. Oh, and, and it, it says, says "Will yeah. you be my groomsman?" on it because you can get that little area right there customized That's so with cute. whatever you want. And then a Swiss Army knife with their name engraved on it. Really functional, useful piece. We love knives, our Swiss Army knives. Bottle Clayton opener. uses his so much. I use mine every day. It's a good thing to have. And then, star of the show, a little <laughs> Louisiana hot sauce with a tuxedo on. Remember the, the crystal debacle at... Yeah. So at we use crystal. Crystal for them. It's actually like such a cute hot sauce. Like it's kind of like cute branding. And then yeah. I really just like had a vision of putting a tuxedo on them. And Clayton was like, no, that's dumb. Don't do that. And I was like, no, it would literally be so <laughs> cute. And then I was like, there has to be like some sort of little costume that they make that's like a tuxedo. And then we found these on Amazon. They're actually for like, what are they for? Like wine bottles? Little wine glasses. And then when they showed up, he was like, that is kind of cute. Oh, that's cool. That's cute. I had to like I'm more of a simplistic arm. type, you know. But mm -hmm. She wants to go I want to make it she nice. She wants to make it nice to So that's what it looks like. <laughs> cute. Don't puke on the wall. <laughs> it's Turned so out sweet. cute. Like this is so cute. I can't. And then I got him this little uh, crimson card. Yeah. With and a little then he note wrote, on the back. Yeah. Which I'm going to let you guys read. Yeah. Because it's a tearjerker. Personal tearjerker. Tear <laughs> All right, ladies are ready for dinner. Oh, and in SLA, the label. Very cute little fits. Very nice. Lacey Ball's wife. so pretty. Yeah. We just got home from the grocery store and running a couple of errands. We're making some snacks for the Super Bowl today. And I think we're going to like order pizza. It's just the two of us. So we're just chilling and like vegging out a little bit we need to pack for our cabo um and just eat like yummy snacks one thing about me is i love i feel like i've talked about this a lot on the vlog but in case i haven't or if anyone has missed it my guilty pleasure is watching food videos on social media or like drink videos even i just think it's so soothing and i get super inspired to like yeah, try the so things creative. yeah and they just like make it look so good it, they, they sell me every time yeah. and we talked about that when we go like grocery shopping and the menu i always want to try new recipes and do like these more involved recipes and sometimes yeah. and clayton loves to do our like five recipes that we've ate our ago. whole lives uh, <laughs> literally our whole, our whole uh literally our whole lives our whole uh relationship yeah <clears throat> but one of the things that i recently saw is this like healthy gatorade or nature's gatorade and i had two drinks last night i don't feel actually hungover about it all but i was like well we should make that today because also i feel like we should do the honey before the ice like it's true right mm -hmm. you know um but i just feel like it could liven me up freshen me up the, the girl said it's great to drink like after a workout or before a workout or probably just like in general just has electrolytes and stuff so that's what we're gonna make do we have those um glass straws yeah so it's gonna be coconut water which this is my favorite coconut water on earth we've been drinking that one for a whole life yeah, our whole life also our whole life also we just got these glass straws on amazon they're nice and thicky nice thick. thick. 
Okay, so we're gonna do quite a bit of coconut water. Oh, you guys are sitting in the pepper right now. Hope it doesn't make you sneeze. <laughs> okay, next, the tart cherry juice, which... Yeah, like, what's going on with tart cherry juice? It's like that girl, Careful you know? pouring it in this cup. She's the it girl. I feel like we don't eat that much of it. What's going on with tart cherry juice? She's literally that girl this year. Maybe she's been that girl, but we just didn't know. Um, then we're going to do a lime. Can you cut this for me, sir? Raw honey. How much lime? Uh, do you like half in each? Like a half a lime each? Yeah. Her full oh, that's a juicy lime. Really? Hopefully it's not too sour. Okay. A pinch of, she said high mineral salt, and when I googled that, it was saying like pink yeah. Himalayan really salt. Himalayan pink salt so okay, am I done? I don't understand how this works. Let the engineer step in. Like literally nothing is happening. Okay, but what the heck is this? Oh, sneaky. Whoa. Wow, those are gorge. Wait, these are like literally beautiful. Long crystals. Fun. She didn't necessarily that it say that it tasted good. So she didn't mention that. She did not actually mention that. So you know, just be wary. This may have been like a wellness situation. Ooh, true, like not like. Not like this is so yummy. It was more just like, if you want to make nature's Gatorade, here's how. Nature's cubes? Yeah. I put some ice cubes. Ooh, we need to make more. Or do we have one? Okay. Let's do a tasty test. Testy, tasty test. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, God. <laughs> Seriously? What is she doing with that honey? I don't know. Like I swore I saw it flying around in her cup. Okay. Mine is just a conglomerate. Honey stick. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Drinking honey. It's kind of good. Yeah. No, it's good. It tastes mostly just like coconut water. Yep, it does. Well, like tartar. Because mm -hmm. of tart cherry juice. Like, I think this is like a wellness moment. Just drop. <laughs> this is more wellness than pleasure. And I'm not mad about that. It's not unenjoyable, but it's just, I think it's a wellness moment, which we were, I just walked into that little um, unwear yeah. of the wellness. It's good though. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that. That was random. Hope you enjoyed it. Super Bowl is about to start. We're making a couple dishes today. We made this corn cheese dip. It's got pepper jack, cream cheese, corn, a little sour cream, cilantro. Turned out really good. We've already eaten like half of it. Been snacking out of here pre-game. And then Delaney, oh that's right, we already actually kind of ate another one too. The, what would you call these, broccoli crispers? Yeah, crisps. Some broccoli crispies. Turned out yummy. Just Parmesan cheese and broccoli. This cheese dip though, can't stay away. And then we got sea salt and lime chips from Whole Foods. With them, which I'm normally not like a sea salt and lime guy, but the lime chips with this dip. Excellent, excellent combo. Mmm. This morning we also went to Target. We haven't been to Target in ages. Or at least like really shopped there that much. Yeah. Forgot to bring the vlog. 
But while we were in there, we were grabbing some stuff, some makeup Delaney wanted. And then we also were like, hey, let's take a look at the... Actually, how it started was we saw a colander. And Delaney was like, oh, let's get this colander. Because we've had the same colander for years. I was like, okay. And then we got sucked into the home decor section. Yeah. And went went semi-hard. But everything's uh, all pretty useful for us and stuff we need. Yeah. So we figured we'd do a quick little haul for you guys. The thing is, we went to Target today with like a shopping mood. Like I needed to grab a few makeup things, but then I got a few extra. I just did my makeup with them. Honestly, a sleigh. I'll link the makeup that I got too. They're not so good. Also, we knew going into Target that we shouldn't really like, we wanted to peek in the home decor section because it's always so cute yeah. and it's so good. But we have been trying to refrain from buying home decor recently. Like we haven't gone thrifting or gone to Target or anything because we're like starting the remodel and there's just absolutely no reason really to yeah. do that right now because it's just it's chaotic in our house right now and it's only gonna get more chaotic for a while so it's not smart to like decorate or everything's gonna change we kind of put our hobby on the shelf a little bit yeah so we had kind of been like avoiding the target home section for a while because i was like I, i'm just gonna like like stuff and then we can't get it like it's no fun whatever and then we went there just to pick up the makeup today and then we saw some things that were like pretty practical and some were pretty small, so then we were like, okay, we can we can make an exception for this. Oh, Sorry, not fun with that. And the mat. We need to get the mat. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll start with this. This okay. was what kicked it all off. And we did need a new colander, and it's really cute. That's just a little uh, metal cream colander. Yes. We've had a gold one for probably, like... It's not even gold anymore. Yeah. We've had it for probably, like, seven it's years. It's silver now. Yeah, it's getting kind of gross. So, I thought this one was really cute and it's also nice and like fine, fine mesh, I don't know what you call that, fine strain. So, she's cute and I thought it'd be so cute with like berries and stuff. Like ours is honestly just looking not so hot. So, no. switch it up. And then, on we've that had same the note. same gold mixing bowls for 10 years. Literally. So, we got some new ceramic bowls. These are also like a cream color. The, the bowls are also like yeah. not gold anymore. Yeah, yeah. they're losing so these their kind color. of like match each other. Oh, the same brand? Figment, I think it's a new Figment, yeah. Brand. And this has five bowls, like all different sizes. So yeah. like useful. And they all fit with the, in each other, which yeah. is so nice. So these are like very useful. And then we hit the Chip and Joanne section. Chip and Jojo. I'm sure you guys have all been there. We got this little rack to go near the door to hang some hats, jackets, Bags. more storage. This is like pretty practical too because during the remodel, like the other half of our house is non-livable. So our storage has been just super creative recently. We have to like give you guys a closet update soon. Yeah. Um, but we just like usually put our bags and random stuff over on that bench and thought it could be nice to like lighten it up a little bit over there with this on the wall. Yeah, it'd be really nice. This little thing is probably my favorite. This was the least practical and the most fun, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little, a little date. Cal not a date. Calendar. Calendar. It's a date. And it even has a little heart on it, which is just so cute to me. I don't know. I guess you can use why would you instead of a zero. That? Yeah. Or just you want to just have hearts. Like, what the heck? This is so cute, you guys. I thought we could put this, like, on our console table next, or, like, on top of a book or something. I don't know. It's just really cute. Yeah. It's not not necessary, but very cute. It's cute. These are also not necessary, no. but very right, cute. Little uh, vases. People say vase or vase. Like so many people say vase. Vase? I don't know vase. I know. Do you guys say vase or vase? I like vase better, but I feel like maybe I'm saying it wrong. But anyways, picked up these little vases and just thought they'd be cute to put like little flower buds in. Um, like really minimal arrangement and be cute on like our wooden table. And then a candle. It smells so good. What flavor is this one? This is lavender and birch from Hearth and Hand. 
hearth in hand. Double wick. And you know what it smells oh, that's like? That's called a hearth in hand. The yeah, brand. Yeah. Trying to get them that. You know what it smells exactly like is Abercrombie back in the day? In the best way. Like, you know how those stores smell so good? Or even Hollister. Like, walking in and just... I liked the way that smelled. I'm a big fragrance person, though. And when I wear perfume, I literally, like, douse myself in it because I like when it smells really good and strong. And it, like, expires anyways. But this literally reminds me of, like, Hollister at Abercrombie back in the day. Mm-hmm. I love it. it. smells so good. And then we got a welcome mat. Because of all the rain and stuff lately, it's we were like we really need to be wiping our shoes yeah. off before we step inside, and, and we take our so shoes cute. off right when we walk in, anyways. But just right when you step in, before you step in, to yeah. be able to really scrub them off is good. That one is so cute. Yeah, that one's really cute. I like it. Oh, simple, okay. cute. And then another reason why we went actually, I wanted to get like wrapping stuff for the um, Valentine's Day books that we got each other. So we got these little bags because I'm not that good at wrapping with like the paper. Clayton's actually pretty good at it, um, but I'm not. So opted for these little bags. They're super cute. And this tissue paper, like how freaking adorable is that? Obsessed. So yeah, that's our random spontaneous yeah. art uh, pretty, haul. Pretty good. I'm really excited about the little things. I don't know, Target just gives like a different kind of high, I swear. It's like a true, like, I have a target high from yeah. this. No, they have great stuff though. From this haul. So I'll show you this. I'll link um, the makeup that I got too. All right, it's half time. I sure just changed our lives. Mine at least. Eleni's been in Usher. I've been in Usher stand since day one. You've been in Usher stand? That was so good. I. I can't, I can't. That was literally the best halftime performance ever. I'm obsessed! He's really good. He has so many good songs. He is so freaking good. I'm gonna hang this little rack though. What do you think, about like this height? Yeah. So you can reach. For sure, baby. Go. And we're just really making use of space right now. Just added that right there. And then this is a little uh, shoe storage thing we got. Put some of my shoes in here just for the time being. It really only fits like four pairs, but it serves as a little space and a little area to put stuff when you walk into. Now we can hang some hats, so maybe extra bags there and stuff too. So that'll be good. Chase won the Super Bowl. What else is new? We are just about packed for Cabo, ready to go. But we decided before we left, we're gonna do our little book gift exchange that we picked out. That way we can read a book um, on the plane. Yeah. And it's just easier not to travel with like the gifts. Wait, that one too. Cute. Cute little bags. You go first. Whoa, it's really the cutest wrapping. Or tissue paper. Talking to guys. Ooh, cool. <laughs> now that you remember, talking to Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan, Tiger. Wow, that's cool. Talking to goats. First one by we Jim Gray. Goats. We love goats. So, that's really cool. I thought it would be cool. I thought it would be like inspiring because those uh -huh. are all obviously incredible people so yeah and then like well-rounded because i was like i don't know if i should get you like a football um, or person. basketball or baseball yeah or one person or... nice no that'd be like, really good that more like it well-rounded nice and then i will teach you to be rich wow no get no excuses no it's just a six-week program that works. very cool for new york your, times bestseller for your business mind business. interests i like it He's been talking yeah. about like reading more books on stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I could read that. I was gonna say I would never read that, but I feel like I picked out one that seemed not super boring. Yeah. And I liked that it was like, a like program. inside is more like lessons. Yeah. 
it's a program so it's six weeks of actual things very actionable nice. which i feel like is good for something like that because i don't know mm -hmm. it's like you'll actually do stuff that you're learning about if it has like modules or something like that i don't know i like it do you like them yeah what are you gonna read on the plane i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna do two at once yeah <laughs> that's crazy There is my father, wisdom of a Muskogee Creek caretaker of sacred ways. Wow. He's like, I made the medicine man. This sounds incredible. It's like One of the last traditionally trained medicine persons of the Muskogee Creek Nation. It's like Mad Bear and Rolling Thunder. Uh huh. I love this. Mm -hmm. I love learning about Native American culture. This sounds so cool. Thank you, I mm -hmm. love that. Oh, I'm Rana's book. New York Times bestseller as well. I've heard really good things about this. For some reason, I thought this was like a much bigger book. It's small. Like, it's not short, yeah. but it's like little. Mm -hmm. I've heard I really like good things. I love from this book. Yes, watch out. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I heard it's really good. Yay. That was fun. Aw, cute. I love that. How special. I books. love books. Like, I love when books are from people. Mm -hmm. It makes it more special. Yeah. And I, I get you like very, a... like, sentimental ones. What's that? I think get you very, like, sentimental yeah. ones. This is, though. Yeah. Talking to goats is? Yeah. Talking to goats? Not, like, two goats. <laughs> Not the animal. <laughs> I like it. Okay, good. It was hard. I was so overwhelmed in there. Like, there's so many. Yeah. I was like, should I get him a book on like wellness or like a recipe book? I know. Or, there's so many options. Yeah. Or I was like, maybe I should get like a um like a novel. Like a book. Yeah. You also don't have like as defined of a reading palette. Yeah. So I like. I no, felt I like knew I, exactly was, where to go for you. Yeah. I felt like yeah. everything could be like something that you could like. It was just hard for me to find this section. Yeah, was your, it really small? Your section is dwindling. I, I believe that. Yeah. Was it like an anthropology section or what was it called? It was more like in history. Mm -hmm. What did, was it? But then you, know, you couldn't even find like the self-help section. Yeah. Like where like you're a badass would be or something. Or like yeah. Habits. True. And I didn't I couldn't that find that either. either. Maybe it was upstairs. Okay. I love these though. These are perfect. They're fun. What a sweet thing. I love a book exchange. Yeah, that's fun. And then we're going to give each other our cards in on Mexico. On Valentine's Because it's Day. little and easy. Yeah, on Valentine's Day. Fun stuff. Yay. I love books. All right, guys. So we're going to pack up for the night, head to Mexico. And finish this vlog off here. Mm -hmm. We'll Some see you books. guys. Yeah. Books in hand. We'll see you guys in Mexico.